hello guys and welcome back thanks for watching this video so um, today I'm going to be trying something I'm going to be trying this lipstick it's a new lipstick I got anyway I got this lipstick uh, sometime in December 2020 while I was doing I think I was doing my nails and uh, yeah, the lady proposed that I should take this lipstick that is original, is good, blah blah blah. So I decided to take it and try it. Okay, I haven't worn lipstick in a, in, in a very long time, so I just want to try it and share my experience with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to open it now. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm just going to turn my camera, open it. And then I'll talk to you guys then I'll set up my camera and then we'll try the lipstick okay so guys here's the lipstick in question and yeah it's called lip duo gloss slash lipstick so there is a gloss and there is a lipstick this is the lipstick and this is the gloss so it's two in one. Um, I'm just going to open it. I hope I can do it with one hand because I'm actually holding my camera with the other hand. So let's see. Okay. It's open. So here it is. I took this color because generally purple used to look good on me it's true i've not had a purple lipstick in a very long time or anything i've not bought anything purple in a very long time so i just decided to go back to my purple and i just took there were other colors but i just said let me take this purple pinkish color you know so i hope that it looks good on me yeah so here it is we have opened it say moisturizes lips with color and high shine all right yeah so that's it she was telling me how it's an american uh, lipstick and all of that so let's try and see how good it is in the lipstick here is i've moved it from the carton i'm going to try it now I don't know why I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Let me come closer and adjust this so that it takes my face properly. It might slant a little bit, guys, but just bear with me. So I'm opening now. Mm, God, it smells so good. Like, wow. Mm. Hope I've not stained my nose. It smells so nice like candy like chewing gum or something wow i love when lipstick or lip gloss smells nice it's that is it oh my god so let's try this so my lips are a bit moisturized okay my lips are so dry the dry season it's not here to play. You can even see that I, I almost have wounds on my lips. It's like the air is so dry. So I just moisturize my lips a bit before I apply it. Let me use this one first. Okay. Let's see. Ah, it comes out easily. Mm -hmm. Ah, it smells so good. Mm. I feel like eating it like or chewing it mm -hmm. it's nice wow wow <laughs> it really looks nice even though here it looks dull but on the lips it looks a bit brighter so yeah it really looks nice I'm using my camera directly so I hope that this camera is not fooling me yet, but what I see I like okay It looks 
nice. Mm. Let me take a picture. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's nice, it's really nice. Mm. Oh my god, this is nice. So I'm just going to put this back and we'll try this one. I need to wipe. Oh, I wish I could just leave it on. It's really nice. Okay. Mm. So I'll just, I didn't get anything to wipe my lips. I'll find something wipe my lips and then we'll try this other. I think this is the lip gloss. Yes. we we'll try the lip gloss. Okay, so I'm fine with recording. So I just wiped off the first one. And let's see this one. Let's open it. Okay. This way. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. it smells good as well. But it looks quite small. It's not that like, after taking it out that I see that it looks small. Usually when I have this, I don't like using this directly on my lips. Like I prefer to see it on my finger and then I apply. Oh wow. It makes me feel like getting another one. It's just gloss. Like you don't really see the color. Oh wow. So it's just like your everyday gloss. Should I start it with this? No problem. I can always put my lipstick again. Yeah, so this is just simple gloss. Even though it looks so pink. Okay, you can see that the color does not reflect very much and it's nice it mm, smells good so usually i don't use this directly on my lips because when you do that and you put it back in it makes this to smell it produces some bad odor it's very common with all lip glosses that have this thing so it's always better you remove it when you put it and you take it out you use either your finger or something else and then you apply okay so yeah this is nice just going to put this back but we have to try this lipstick again mm. oh yes i want to put it again putting this lipstick makes me feel like filming another video <laughs> like i should put on my lipstick and then i do another video i have to think of something to film right now So I'm just adding this on top of the gloss I've applied. Wow, you can put the two, you can put the gloss to moisturize your lips and then you put the lipstick, okay? Wow. And then this. This. I feel like I'm going to buy another one maybe another color mm? it's really nice it's, it's really nice mm. Mm. wow this is really nice I've not appreciated lipstick in a very long time even though I have others but I don't use them often because of <sighs> because at some time they are just dry why wouldn't this thing look well? Okay. So most lipsticks are usually just dry, but the lipstick alone is not that dry and it's really nice. It's soft when you're applying, you don't have to, you know. It's nice. So guys, I just wanted to try this lipstick live on camera and share the moment with you guys because we are trying to 
revive our beauty game <laughs> and makeup i'm not so much of a makeup person i used to apply makeup before like the brown powder and all the like then soon i'm like i went to white powder because you know brown powder i don't just and all the brown foundations they did i wonder how people manage it not dirty in their clothes i'm somebody who touches my face who likes to lie and so i don't want to feel restricted so i just went to white powder like now i just put on my white baby powder and then lips i used to do my eyes a lot but these days i don't it's no longer just a few times i used to shave my eyebrows but i no longer do that okay so now i'm more miss natural but i still love makeup but makeup i just see it like enhancing what i have just a little bit not transforming or changing completely no i don't do makeup for that i do makeup just to enhance just to look better just to present something that i already have better like my lips they look so yeah this is the lipstick if you're interested i don't know where it is sold online <laughs> maybe after this video i might search but i don't know if i'll find so yeah maybe i'll search on amazon if i see i can put for those who can get from amazon or what if you are interested but generally i bought it from the salon where i do my hair okay and the lady told me it's really nice that i should buy it i bought this for 2000 francs cfa i don't know how much it costs uh elsewhere or online but i bought it for 2000 francs so yeah it's not that cheap most of my lipsticks used to cost 200 150 100 i had lipstick one lipstick one black lipstick my daughter destroyed it she rubbed it on the floor and it was useless but i bought it for 100 francs and i also have lipstick that have that cost i want red lipstick cost 150 or 200 francs yes 500 my most expensive lipstick has been 1000 so far one five i think so this one i bought it for two thousand i think the price is good it's two in one and the price is fair oh my god this magida guys whenever they get here they hit that thing so hard so yeah i'll see how to link it guys if i can find it online okay thank you guys for watching this video thank you I'll see you in my next one. Please subscribe. My content is simple lifestyle content like this about my life, uh, the things I do, the things I use, and also the personal development for African women. So if you're interested in such content, please do subscribe, join the family, and leave your thoughts below. Share with those who are with you think will be interested in this kind of content. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.